Hi everyone and welcome to the presentation about social networking. As we can see, we are having numerous social media tools. As we are having Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and so forth. And now let's hear what Rhodes students say. We can talk social networking and I particularly want to focus on, on overshare. Now, ever since the explosion of Facebook, and well, before at MySpace, but Facebook is what really took off. This was really made social networking what it is today, and it's reached the point where people are very insistent on being the next social network. Okay, like social networking is is the next big thing for a company. You know, everything is about social networking now. You really need to you know be connected and you know all that kind of stuff. If you go onto let's say um, an app store, let's say the iPhone app store, there's a whole category called social networks, and it kind of doesn't make sense. Like a social network is something to really work, to really make money, you need to be a Facebook or a Twitter where you have billions of people using your service. Like to be that successful and that well known that you are a household name. You know, that's that's the only way a social network can really work. But because of how much money those companies have made, the really big ones, everyone wants a piece of the pie. And now everyone's making a, their own social network and everyone's adding social network connectivity to everything else they make. Um, new gaming consoles, they're all going to have social networking built in. Basically, they're going to tie into your Facebook. When you buy a phone, it ties into your Facebook. You know, like um, I was looking at a, a Windows phone recently. All of your contact pictures are their Facebook pictures. And when I clicked on my own contact, they had my latest status sitting next to my face, my latest update. So you could always know if you looked at my contact what I was, you know, saying. And you think, oh, that's convenient. But at the same time, I want to pose the point: why? Why do you need to know that information? Why? Why is it so important? Why is there this idea in modern day life that having more information is better? Like, we do want lots of information, but we want the right information. And right now, social networking and all social network developments are all about just information dumps. Throw as much information out there as possible. Everyone wants to know every little thing about you. You know, your wildest imagination, your wildest thought, it, it, it's gold. It's gold. Share it. Okay? And it leads to this idea, this kind of like narcissistic idea, where people who add you as a friend and people who follow you, they, they really care about what you're saying and you'll see a lot of people have developed to a point where I, I could pick a few out from my own Facebook page obviously I'm not going to name anyone but they post statuses 10 11 statuses a day on Facebook and I follow them on Twitter as well where they tweet approximately every 20 minutes when they're awake and occasionally they go through just storms where they just share absolutely everything that they think of the most random thoughts. There's there's no context to these Twitter messages at all, but they share them because they they want to get that information out there. And, and why? Why is that important? Why why are they sending these messages to no one? Okay, it's essentially like standing in the middle of a street. Sure, there's lots of people you know on the streets, but you're just yelling out your thoughts. And every hundred yells or so, someone replies to your yell, and it's justified. You know, there's, there, that's connectivity right there. But that's, that's not really connectivity. It's just throwing information out and hoping that someone responds to some of it. You know, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know how to properly verbalize what I'm thinking, but you, you, just give me two seconds. I'll just gather my, let's come back to it. It's, it's a, why is there this idea that sharing all this information is good? Where did it come from? Okay, why? Why do we want to know? Well, why do people think that everyone wants to know so badly everything about their lives? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to know certain things about your friends. You know, like I, it's convenient. You know, someone posts a picture of you know a trip they went on, let's say, and I now know what my friends back home are doing. I'm quite interested. The next time I see them, I know you know I, I want to ask them about it. But that that's different. It's reached the point where you want to share as much information as possible. Well, that's kind of the impression you get from a lot of people. They they see that sharing is as, as what's important. 
and and why is that you could you could see they could be kind of like the dark corporate side you could look at that this this whole um zeitgeist of the, the overshare it's good for them because the more times you check your facebook page the more money facebook makes the more times you share something on twitter the better it is for twitter okay so it could be the companies i, I don't think that's what it is i think it's more that they social networks have given people who want to think that they're important i mean have been told that they're important by you know the way we're raised in society a means to as they see express themselves to really get out there and you know show off how cool they really are and it's i don't want to say dangerous but it kind of is it's kind of taking the narcissism that we have in the 21st century and the late 20th century and exacerbating it more and more and more and more and more and more and more until we're going to reach the point where people are going to be completely intolerable like interaction is going to break down to everyone just want to wanting to have their say and no one willing to listen to what the other person is saying and yeah this is the question we've been asking road student what is really happening on social network as we can see the statistics shows there's larger volume of facebook users within the campus and around the world as a whole they said they are meeting new people since all of the youth teenagers even the older generation we are all concentrating on one thing which is social network what is really happening in there we find that um, we are sharing files we are sharing status we are sharing profiles and so on and the disadvantage of using the social network is spams you get the larger volume of messages that you don't even want to and you're not inter interested into like white house is also using facebook in updating the nation facebook is one of the largest social network which connects people let's hear what other students have to say about social network social network yeah you but you first asked me a question let me just tell you this is uh ike chuku from nigeria and with me here is Nobuyezu from N Okoroko State. Okoroko State. Nigeria. Do we? You, do we? Do we social network? Oh yes, we do. We do. We do. We do. Yeah. How does it connect with you? Okay. Oh. I come from a village in Nigeria, and I can't write a letter every day to my parents, so I need WhatsApp for me to communicate with them, and I also need to upload my pictures on Facebook so they can see how handsome their son is getting day by day. So yeah. Oh, why do I need social network? You know, social network helps me with the chicks, you know, them ladies. When I'm in love, you know, where we come from in Nigeria, Abuja, when you are in love, you tell the chick that you love them. So I can now communicate to them chicks and tell them that I love them even overnight. If it's WhatsApp, I, five rand takes me the whole week. Exactly. It's very cheap. Oh. It's very cheap. It's very cheap. Oh. You, you can do anything. Plus, you know, it's like social networking keeps the world moving. I don't watch Barcelona every day, but I get updates on Facebook. You see now? I'm a backer fan. You see now? Mm -hmm. Chineke has upgraded the world now. Mm -hmm. mm. Everything always is just going smooth. You know, so with, a, with a rand a time, you don't know how. Hey, sh you can even, <laughs> you well, can even well, kiss a girl on WhatsApp. Bed? Ah! Oh. Oh. The bad, the bad thing about social network they'll send is you those there's no bad thing. Oh, okay. Except yeah. it promotes procrastination when you are a student. I'm a law student, which means in, in two years' time I'll be practicing lawyer. But so far, my time is being wasted on Facebook. Yeah. Because every day yeah. I have... Oh, do you know that the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning? Update status on Facebook. So I'm going to go Facebook. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> it's like when I wake up in the morning and my phone has no WhatsApp message, uh, uh, I'll, I'll check the battery and network. Eh, it will be off. That's impossible. So yeah. So fine. that's the bad thing. That's the bad. And the other bad thing is I lose concentration in lectures. I tend to. <laughs> you know, it's hard. But our WhatsApp parents are paying a lot of money for us to be here. But you know, what social you network mean? is destroying our lives as youth. It's very uh, harsh. Do you <laughs> uh, yeah, of course I do. Who doesn't these in this day and age? It's a nice way of getting to know people, you know, connecting with people. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I'll use, I'll go on Facebook at least five times a day. Every time I come back to my room, I check my Facebook stuff and all that kind of stuff. You know, so it's really become ingrained into our lives these days. I mean, who doesn't social network? You're an outcast if you don't. How do you, how do you benefit from uh, the benefits are large. I mean, I've met a whole bunch of my old friends from school through social networking. It makes contacting people much easier and more efficient. Uh, and it gives something good to free, uh, to think to kill time with. The main reason of social media is increasing brand awareness, networking, driving traffic to business website, generating sales, obtaining customer feedback, and many other more. Nowadays, we don't have to go to post offices to post letters to our families because they arrive late. And uh, to nowadays, technology has really changed because now we have devices to social networks such as BlackBerry, etc., etc. Nowadays, if you got a problem, there's no need for you to think deeply. I mean, it might be a financial problem, uh, a mathematical one, or a personal one. You don't need to stress. You just go to Google and it will resolve it. Culture versus social networking. Let's hear what the community of Gramsam have to say. Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad, but most of the time I think they're really bad because like um, they kind of lower your self-esteem because you get pictures of people who are naked or people with small bodies and then people will be like, this is the kind of person that you should look up, the kind of person you should be like. So it kind of lowers other people's self-esteem. And in a good way, you get to meet new people because I'm a kind of person who likes to meet new people. So get to meet different people, um, get to know different people and how, who they are and what they like doing and can also learn from them and stuff like that. But yeah. Coming back to the slide, we can see that we have to stay ahead by, uh, of the culture by creating the culture, which means we, have, we are having our new culture of finding solutions. We don't think deeply in order to come with, with solutions. The key social platforms is sharing pictures. Now it's a matter what kind of pictures are we sharing online. Looking to the statistics, this chart shows us how much money people they make using the social media online. Now there's no use of newspapers because we get an update on social network. Values like structure, styles, skills, we all get it from social network. Our values and beliefs for culture is getting lost. Now we're even promoting the blogs in South Africa where you have to vote for number one blog which means we are going up with the These days you don't have to go to town and do window shopping. Just go to blogs and see the advertisement. Nowadays we are having only one culture where we are all united on social networks. And not only uh, the public, even the politicians are on social networks. They also use the social networks to win votes. And even the older generation, they are all blogging, all on social network, whereas we all know that we get uh, news on social networks, gossip, personal information, politics, technology, and general information. As, as we can see, the slope of the people using social network is increasing, while the values of our culture and beliefs is decreasing. Darkness of night descends. Come.